when the car comes nearby the gate automatically opens and when the car goes away the gate automatically closes so we have three objects that we want to control and we also need to note which axis and what kind of transformation we are doing so for the truck it is the translate z axis as you can see here the translate z axis is getting changed right and for these gates it is the rotation y axis that needs to be changed we can either work on this one by one or we can work on it together as well okay so to start with we need to make sure that we are in animation uh, status here and we go to the key and down here you will find set driven key and go inside set so once we choose this we get this little window here okay and there's there are two options so we have a driver and we have a driven objects so in our case the car is going to be the driver so I'm going to select the car and click load driver and our driven objects are going to be this gate 1 and gate 2 so I'm going to select both of them and you can also have a control curve to be uh, the driver uh, driven object as well so if you have connected a control curve to this gate you can also use that control curve so in my case I'm going to select both of them and choose load driven as I told you you can also do it one by one or you can do it together all right so now what I have to say is I have to say some initial uh, settings here so let me just freeze this transformation just to make this to be the beginning pose here I'll go to modify and freeze transformation I can also delete by type history just to make things clean all right so here we have gate this is going to be the rotation y axis which is zero that is easy and here also we have the rotate y to be zero Great. So I'm going to select uh, from this cyber truck the um, translated Z axis. And from these two, I'm going to select the rotate Y axis. Okay. So once this is done, now first I'm going to say I'm going to initialize the first post. So the first post is going to be uh, the truck is outside and the gate is closed. So let me just hit key okay so you can see that there's a blue color um, uh, signaling saying that there is some kind of connection between this attribute to other uh, object so if I se select this gate 1 I can see the same symbol here and if I select the gate 2 I can still say see the same great now the values are going to be different it's not going to be the same for these two um, gates because this gate is supposed to rotate uh, with positive values and this gate is supposed to rotate with negative values okay so we need to manually change these numbers great so next thing that I want to do is I also want the gate to be um, closed until the car comes quite close so what I can do is I can just move this a little bit further okay and I will also press one more key see these are this is just the registration that we are doing for these position so when when the car comes here I do I want the gate to be opened or if so how much do I want it to be open so till here my the gate is going to be closed so next what I want is we're not changing anything in our timeline keep in mind so we're not creating any keyframes in the timeline and all the keyframes are being created through this set driven key so now I want to move the car just touching the gate or just going a little bit inside and now I want the gate to be opened or at this point of time we want the gate to be fully open so now I can select the gate one and rotate it um, let's say I think probably not exactly 90 degrees but something like um, 85 degrees okay so this is this has this has to be in the minus or negative so let's say minus 85 degrees okay so now I want to select the other gate that is gate 2 and for this it is going to be 85 and positive so plus 85 degrees so now you will see that we have uh, made the gate open and the car is actually coming in so at this position we also want to create one more key so now I'll hit key once again so now you can see that so far we have set three different poses 
So when the car is away, okay, for example, if I just move this over, you can actually see this uh, effect showing up. See, the moment the car goes back, the gate will automatically close. And when the car is away, it is still closed. And when the car comes close by, you can see that the gate automatically opens up. So we can actually, we are actually animating three different objects with a single keyframe or with a single um, attribute. Okay, so now the gate is opening up. Okay, and the car is going out. And now what we want is when the car goes away from here, when, it, when the car moves uh, further away here, we want the gate to start closing. Okay, so what I have to say here is I need to create one more keyframe to say that till the car comes here, I don't want the gate to be closed, right? So we'll click key once again here. And then after this position, when it moves away from here, I want the gate to be closed. So I'll go to the gate one, I'll give zero here, and I'll go to gate two, and I'll give zero here. And all I have to do is set key. That is it. So now if I just move this car back, you can see the gate automatically opens. And when the car goes away, the gate automatically closes. So once we do this setup, now I can close the set driven key. And now our um, set driven key is uh, finished. Now you can see that when I move the car near the gate, the gate automatically opens. And when the guard goes away, the gate automatically closes. You can see it from a different uh, point of view here. When the car comes nearby, the gate automatically opens. And when the car goes away, the gate automatically closes. That's it. So that's how you can use set driven key to create animation. Uh, by controlling a single attribute, we can control other attributes of other objects as well. We can use this in terms of creating character rigs. We can use it in terms of reverse foot. Uh, if you want to know uh, how to use the same thing on creating control rigs, you can check out the videos that I will link it in the description in terms of human rigging and things like that. If you want to learn how to create a human character, you can check out the video in the right. If you want to learn how to create graphic designs, you can check the video in the left. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.